I mean, last week was rough. Are you kidding? Last week I looked up my family tree, two dogs were using it. <laughs> I mean, when I was a kid, it was different. I had it rough. When I was two years old, my parents got a dog, and I was jealous of the dog. So they got rid of me. <laughs> uh, my wife, I got no sex life. The dog keeps watching me in the bedroom wants to learn how to beg. <laughs> I told him to watch my wife and learn how to roll over and play dead. <laughs> I tell you, I'm sorry. I was a little late getting here tonight. You know, my dog, he started trouble again. I mean, I got a dog. He tries to run the whole house. Well, the other night, he started trouble. He went over the front door. He started to bark. I went over. I opened the front door. The dog didn't want to go out. He wanted me to leave. <laughs> well, my dog, too. She gives me trouble. Your dog? Uh, yeah. I got a female dog, you know. I tried to mate her. She wants 50 biscuits. <laughs> And I tell you, I got a dumb dog, too, my dog. We call him Egypt. Every room, he leaves a pyramid. <laughs> and my wife, I got no sex life, either. In my house, we put the mirror over the dog's bed. <laughs> now, you kidding? I know I'm ugly. My dog found out we look alike. He killed himself. <laughs> How many kids do you have? I got two kids. I love my yeah, kids. Yeah, you know, I know that. My kids, of course, but our boy gives me trouble lately. Yeah, really? He's at the age now he copies everything. He sees something, he copies it, you know. This oh. kid imitates everything. Yeah. That's why we got rid of the dog. You all right? <laughs> no, they're very impressionable at that age. The peculiar feeling is your son standing there with one leg on. Yes, I... This afternoon, my wife cracked up the car again. I was out driving with her. She told me she was to make a U-turn. I'll tell you the letter she made. You'll never find any out there. <laughs> hey, my wife can't do nothing right. She can't cook. The worst cook in the world. Gave my kid alphabet soup. He spelled out help. What a lousy cook. I mean, how can toast have bones? <laughs> She's a lousy cook, too. She can't cook at all. I leave dental floss in the kitchen, the roaches hang themselves. <laughs> and I tell you, my wife, she can't cook either. My house, we pray after we eat. <laughs> I bought a pressure cooker. Now I eat off the ceiling. <laughs> what a lousy cook. I don't think meatloaf should glow in the dark. <laughs> I mean, if she can't cook at all, my backyard, the flies chipped in to fix the screen door. <laughs> now, I tell you, my wife with eating is always a problem. She's a strict vegetarian. In fact, when I met her, she was grazing on the front lawn. <laughs> I mean, she can't cook at all. She made chocolate mousse and antler got stuck in my throat. <laughs> That's really annoying with my wife, the way she serves a meal. Serves oh, badly? Terrible. No. I mean, you put down a steak. How do you forget the plate? I was talking to my doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Finney Boombach. You know my doctor? Yeah. Well, he told me last week in his office he got six cases of VD. I mean, he's all right now, you know. <laughs> and my doctor, he don't help either. He told me to run five miles a day for two weeks. I called him up. I said, Doc, I'm 70 miles from my house. <laughs> I'll tell you about trouble. I got the wrong doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach. You know my doctor? What a doctor. You kidding me? Well, that doctor, I called him up, I told him I had diarrhea, put me on hold. <laughs> well, he's a strange doctor. Strange doctor. Oh, hey, you kidding? I asked him if my heart was strong enough to sex. He told me not if I join in, you know? <laughs> I'll tell you my trouble, I got the wrong doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach. Know my doctor? <laughs> what a doctor. Well, I called him last week, I told him, Doc, I swallowed a bottle of sleeping pills. He told me to have a few drinks and get some rest. <laughs> Life's not easy. Not easy. You not can't easy. trust doctors either. They're all mixed up. You really kidding? think so, huh? Uh, my proctologist used to be a photographer. Yeah. Hey, he took x-rays, told me to bend over and say cheese. <laughs> uh, one time I saw him, he gave me sleeping pills. He told me to take them whenever I wake up. <laughs> when you know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach. So my doctor, but got a way, uh, what a doctor. He's really mixed up. He grabbed my knee and told me to cough and hit me in the balls with a hammer. So when I was born, after the doctor cut the cord, he hung himself. <laughs> I tell you, my problem is that I drink too much, way too much. Yeah. I get my doctor a urine specimen. There was an olive in it. <laughs> hey, you kid, I know I'm ugly. I stuck my head out the window, got arrested for mooning. <laughs> I know I'm ugly. I went to a freak show that let me in for nothing. <laughs> kid, I was an ugly kid, too. How ugly? How ugly? I was so ugly, my mother breastfed me through a straw. I'm ugly, I'm told you. My proctologist, he stuck his finger in my mouth. What's going to mean nothing? Man, I got a niece, an ugly girl. She got married. She's happy. She married an ugly guy. Right. And today they got two very ugly kids. Ugly kids, yes. <laughs> nice. 
In fact, they're all so ugly in a family album. They only keep the negatives. This girl was fat and ugly. Ooh, she ugly. Ugly. How ugly? I took her to the beach. They asked me what I used for bait. <laughs> When I took her home, my mother put newspapers on the floor. Oh. I mean, ugly. I gave her a hickey. I got fur on my mouth. You... <laughs> I was an ugly kid, too. I had plenty of pimples. One day, I fell asleep in the library. I woke up a blind man was reading my face. I mean, I mean, ugly. But when I was born, after the doctor cut the cord, he hung himself. <laughs> Now, I tell you, I'm all right now, but last week I was in rough shape, you know? Yeah, last week my wife signed me up for a bridge club. I jump off next Tuesday. <laughs> I mean, last week nothing went right. I bought a waterbed. There were two Cuban guys swimming there looking for Florida. <laughs> oh, well. Now, last week I went to the track, too. That was a beauty. I shot off the opening gun. They killed my horse. <laughs> I'll tell you, nothing works out. My car broke down again. I got a car, I got nothing but trouble. Every Sunday I take my family out for a push. <laughs> The last time my wife drove the car, she cracked it up, went into a tree. Told me it wasn't her fault. She blew the horn. <laughs> my wife wasn't too smart, you know. One night she went out, some guy stole the car. I said to her, did you see what he looked like? She told me she got the license plate number. <laughs> well, she's not smart at all. I told her our kid is spoiled. She told me a lot of kids smell that way, you know? <laughs> I tell you, it's tough to stay married to my wife. How do you think I feel? She kissed the dog on her lips and she won't drink from my glass. <laughs> I mean, there's always some wife's father. He just moved in too, has electronic pacemaker. Every time he sneezes, the garage door opens. <laughs> I tell you, life isn't easy. My psychiatrist told me I'm going crazy. I said, if you don't mind, like a second opinion. He said, all right, you're ugly too. <laughs> Are you kidding? I know I'm ugly. Halloween, I open the front door. Kids give me candy. <laughs> My dog found out we look alike. He killed himself. <laughs> I was an ugly kid, too. I worked in a pet store. People kept asking how big I get. <laughs> You're too fast for this whole section over here. Right? <laughs> Dude, I was ugly in my sandbox. The cat kept covering me up all the time, you know? <laughs> you know, what a childhood I had. My mother never breastfed me. She told me she liked me as a friend. <laughs> Kids today is different. They got a too good. They don't appreciate it either. Last Christmas, my kid wanted a BB gun. I gave him a BB gun. He gave me a sweatshirt with a bullseye in the back. <laughs> Smart kid I got. The other day, I told him about the birds and the bees. He told me about my wife and a butcher. <laughs> now, I tell you, my whole life is pressure. Nothing but pressure. And this pressure is like a heaviness. Always on top of me, this heaviness, since I'm a kid. Other people wake up in the morning. Ah, oh, new day. Up and at them. I wake up to heaviness. is right there waiting for me. And sometimes I even talk to it, and I say, hi, heaviness. <laughs> and heaviness looks back at me, today you're going to get it good, you know. <laughs> you'll be drinking early today. And I don't want to drink of a bad drinker. When I drink the next day, i got to do two things. I try and locate my car, and i got to bring back the car I took. I'm a bad <laughs> <laughs> You know the trouble with me? I appeal to everyone who can do me absolutely no good. <laughs> With me, nothing comes easy. I met the Surgeon General. He offered me a cigarette. <laughs> I mean, that's the story of my life. No respect. I don't get no respect at all. Are you kidding? Me? This afternoon, I was at BBQ this afternoon. I was in a bar. They told me to get out. They wanted to start the happy hour. <laughs> It's not easy being me. Well, last week my house was on fire. My wife told the kids, be quiet, you wake up daddy. <laughs> now, but I tell you, I finally got some respect. They asked me here tonight, you know. And I tell you, I'm surprised I'm here. I mean, I voted for Randolph Scott. <laughs> got a cigarette, okay? Right. You don't mind, do you? You should give that up. Right? I got a crazy doctor told me to keep smoking if I want to stop chewing gum, so what the heck? <laughs> How long do you expect to be in Shanghai? <laughs> Last week I told my kid, be honest, always be honest. He said, all right, I'm not your kid. <laughs> oh, last week was rough. I felt sick. My doctor told me to go home and baby myself. So I told my wife to breastfeed me. I took a leak in my pants and I cried for two hours. <laughs> my wife, she don't help either. We got married, I told her I like sex twice a day. She said, me too, now we'll never see each other.
My wedding day, that was a beauty. I went to put the ring on. She gave me the wrong finger. <laughs> and I yeah, like Vegas. Yeah. My wife, too, we both like Vegas, you yeah, know? Yeah. yeah, my wife likes to play the slots, and I like to play the sluts, you know? So yeah, right, it right. works out good for everybody, you know? <laughs> No, but I like Vegas. It keeps me busy. I like to keep yeah, busy. You know, keep my busy. age, I don't want to face life. I got to keep right, busy. Right, right. And you know, something always pops up to keep you busy. You know, right, right. like this morning, I had a drug test. I got lucky. It was good pot. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing, I'm still not drinking. You know, not drinking. I can't handle the booze. It makes me crazy. You yeah, know, yeah. I don't want to end up like my old man. You know, old man was a drunk, big drunk. He drank. Oh, yeah. my old man. He saw a sign: "Drink Canada Dry." He went up there. Really. <laughs> Yeah. I tell you, you don't know who to believe. Like Abraham Lincoln, Abe Lincoln said, all men are created equal. Right. I mean, he never went to a nude beach, you know? <laughs> <laughs> now, I woke up the other day, I had a craving for nuts. Craving for nuts. So I spent the whole day with my wife and her mother. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> now, I tell you, I found out, you know, uh, in fact, I found out my wife is faking orgasms. Yeah, yeah, four of my friends told me, you know. Really? Yeah, wow. Wow. <laughs> nah, you know, you know, when I think back, my love with girls, I didn't do too bad. I didn't mean, I'm no ladies' man. You know? right, I got yeah. lucky here today, yeah, you know. Yeah. I met a one night, I met a girl at a bar. We talked 15 minutes back to her place. Had the best sex I ever had, you know. Really? Hungry, made me a steak. It was beautiful. And the way out, she says to me, how about some money? I said, oh, no, no, money I couldn't take. I don't want any money. <laughs> <laughs> You got your prize, yeah. I mean, she was a lovely girl. Her name was Valerie Dubois. In fact, she told me to call the VD for sure. Really? Yeah, <laughs> really. And, uh, I tell you, Jay, I got women figured out pretty good. You pretty know? good. Got I knocked her on enough. I know how yeah. to make a girl say yes. Really? I ask her, am I bothering you? <laughs> but remember, always have safe sex. That's important, That's safe yeah. sex. Safe My whole life, I'm practicing safe sex. Yeah. In fact, I want to thank all the girls who turned me down. <laughs> <laughs> and a few who turned me upside down. <laughs> what am I talking about sex for? You yeah. kidding? I got no sex life. I'm old. Yeah. I tried a Viagra pill. My tongue got hard. Really? <laughs> No, I tell you, those Viagra pills are strong. Yeah, know? Viagra's strong. Well, last week, accidentally, I dropped a whole bottle of Viagra pills in my toilet. Yeah. <laughs> now the lid won't stay down. Really? Yeah. Oh, they're strong. I mean, I got a dog, a cocker spat, you know. <laughs> he swallowed a Viagra pill. Now he's a pointer. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but, Jay, the yeah. big one is to feel good, stay healthy. That's, That's the whole good. That's big important. one. And yeah. to keep out of hospitals, they're yeah. the worst, you know. Yeah. A few months ago, I had an experience in the hospital. I was hungry. I yelled, nurse. She came over. She says, yes. I said, I'm hungry. She says, you're being fed right now. If you put your hand behind you, you feel the tube. You're being fed through the tube. I said, no. Nice. Do me a favor, will you? Tomorrow, bring two more tubes, okay? She said, what for? I said, like you and the doctor to have lunch with me. <laughs> I tell you, every time I buy a car, I get stuck. You know, the salesman always says, she's a beauty. He never says, he's a beauty. I found out why, because a car and a girl are very much alike. Me with either one, a car or a girl. When you're going to use one, they always lie about the mileage. <laughs> and with either one, a car or a girl, how many times in a cold morning when you really need it, it won't turn over? <laughs> I tell you, my whole life, all I know was rejection. When I was a kid, my yo-yo, it never came back. <laughs> When I was a kid, I was poor, too. When I was a kid, everybody was poor. No rich kids, only poor kids, that's all. But I was poor. I was so poor, my rich aunt died in the will. I owed her $20. <laughs> I was poor. Oh, once on my birthday, my old man, he showed me a picture of a cake. <laughs> I sat there all day trying to blow out the candles. <laughs> now, 
Now, with kids today, it's different. They got a too good. They don't appreciate it either. It was my boy's birthday last week. Had a little party, went out the cake. The kid blew out all the candles. I said to him, I hope your wish comes true. He said, if it does, that's the last time you'll watch me blow out candles. <laughs> Smart kid I got. Like the last time I took my kid to Coney Island, I asked him, you want to go in a crazy house? He told me to save my money, be home soon. <laughs> I tell you, my kid, he drives me nuts. Well, for three years now, he goes to a private school. He won't tell me where it is. <laughs> Mark Locke, the kids were tough. All over my face, I had pimples. They used to grab me and play connect the dots. <laughs> Trouble girls, the only one is looks. It looks don't mean nothing. It's underneath what counts. Soul, depth. That's what's important, not looks. Well, how many times take a walk in the street, you see a tall, handsome man walking arm in arm with a short, fat, ugly girl. I never saw that. Did you ever see that? <laughs> uh, it's nice to hear you laugh. I'll tell you that really, you know. <laughs> no laughs. I live in a rough neighborhood. Very bad. Forget it, will you? Just last week, a guy pulled a knife on me. I could see it wasn't a real professional job. There was butter on it. 